Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a polygon that is similar to another polygon, but with the side reduced. So this is what I'm saying. So if you have a polygon, let me just do a, a polygon like this, and you want to draw something similar, exactly like this, but the side will be reduced. So that means it's going to be looking smaller, but in the same, uh, the same proportion as the given polygon. So how do you go about it? So if you are just coming across this video, this is the part two. We've done the part one that talks about how to enlarge it. But don't worry, if you mix that one, just watch this video to the end. I'm going to be talking about it. So uh, before we get into this video, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So I'm waiting for you to do that. Please just click on the subscribe button. That button with subscribe written on it. Please just click on it. All right, thank you very much if you have just done that. And let me know in the comment section. Just say something like I've subscribed and I'm going to reply you. All right, now, now let me get into this. So to give you a proper understanding on what this, how to get, go about with this video. So that's I'm using a plain sheet. I've not even draw the polygon that we are going to be using. And this principle works for either a regular polygon or an irregular polygon. So when I talk about irregular polygon, all the sides are equal. Irregular polygon is what I'm having here. Where you just draw a polygon, all the sides you know, are not equal. So now let me just draw a polygon and let me use one of the sides. So let me just take one of the sides should be 8 centimeter. So, like I said, it's the same respect of the polygon, it's just the same thing. Let me just take this side to be 8 centimeters. So, let me just draw the other sides of the polygon. Let me just use any, any length. Okay, so let me just call this is let me call this point A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, if you know, if you look at in this when I was drawing it, I measured this place to be eight centimeter. So what if you are asked to reduce it such that this A B will be let's use six centimeter. Will be six centimeter. So we are asked to reduce it so that A B will be six centimeter. So how do we go about it? So what we are going to do is from point A. You are going to draw a line that will pass through all the points that will pass through points c d e and f so let's do that so from point a then to point e And then from point A. So since we are reducing, we don't really need to do that of this side. So what we are going to do next is so let's call this from points also from points one to points two. That's for the reduced polygon of the major polygon. So we are going to be using numbers to represent that. So from this point two, we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line to touch this line. Okay, a line that is parallel to line B C, so that the line will come and touch this line that is coming from A that pass through C. So let's do that. So then another line that is parallel to line C D, then it's come and touch this particular line that passed through D. So same thing, another line that is parallel to line DE should come and touch this line that passes through D. Then for this, we we'll draw a line that is parallel to line EF to come and touch this line F. So now this point one, two, three, four, 
5 and 6. Now this represents the reduced sides of the major polygon. So you can see we've been able to reduce it in the same proportion. So that means from year to year is, um, how many did we use? Let me see. 6 centimeters. So from 1 to 2 is 6 centimeters. Then from A to B, we, we used, um, I think, 8. Yeah, 8 centimeters. So that means we've reduced the polygon A, B, C, D, E, F. We've reduced it to, to polygon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is how you go up uh, ahead to reduce what a polygon. While making sure that the sides are still the same. So in uh, if you missed the part 1 of this video, uh, we should talk about how to enlarge it. So this is what we did there. And the video... Uh, to this video will be popping out towards the end of this particular video that you are watching so do make sure you watch it to the end because this one will be popping up immediately after this video so if you have any question or any comments for me with regards to uh, this video or you have any video request uh, do leave them in the comment section below uh, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy uh, please click on the subscribe button show some love click on the subscribe button if you are find the video if you also give it a thumbs up and you can also visit our website paacademy.co paacademy.co check our playlist on technical drawing for more helpful video and the part one of this video will just come out be appearing somewhere here so if you click on it it will take you to the part one in case you missed it and i'll see you all in another video thank you very much